Hello there, everybody. This is Melinda with Raw-Wisdom.com. And today is the 45th day of the Jews' Feast. Let's see, yes. It's the 45th day of the Jews' Feast. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about why am I doing the Jews' Feast. There are three main benefits I see from Jews feasting for myself. The first one's physical, the second one is spiritual and emotional, and the third one is maybe psychological. So the first one, physical, uh, the benefits are that my body is going through a detox and instead of spending energy digesting food, breaking it down, etc. Uh, my body can spend that same amount of energy on re repair and regeneration of my cells. So uh, by liquefying my food and having it all raw, uh, it frees up the energy in my body for more important things. And one of the benefit I hope to have is to have the scar tissue in my breast from the surgeries I went through to be cleared up. And also if there's any cancer in there, I would like to also have those cells repaired. So the second benefit is emotional. And I specifically set this juice feast up to go between two red letter dates in my life. August 1st is the anniversary of my when my father was killed when I was 10 years old. He died in a car accident. And, uh, and the other date was November 3rd, which is uh, when I was 15, my mother was killed in a car accident. And so I have set aside this sacred space to allow myself to bring up and look at any issues that I might have left karmically or otherwise in relationship to uh, these two tragedies in my life that perhaps have stopped me from enjoying myself on this planet even more. So that would be uh, the spiritual issue and the, another spiritual issue I feel I get from this is I get to observe uh, my patterns of when I would like to be eating because uh, oftentimes we use food as a way to avoid some of the things that are really significant to us uh, we run from them emotionally so then the third is psychological and this is uh, an exercise of the will I enjoy exercising my will I have all my life uh, I remember even as a teenager, I would give myself things to do, like, I don't know, eliminate things from my life in order to see how I handled them, like maybe no sugar, remove all the sugar, or then I remove the dairy, and different things just to give myself an exercise of the will and also observe the benefits, if there were any, in my life. Uh, the biggest challenge I had was when I quit smoking, and uh, that was a real exercise of the will because we love our addictions. And I did notice that when I get emotional, I would pull out a cigarette. It was just like a crutch. I used it as a crutch. and. What was upsetting to me is that it became so addictive that I, well, I rolled my cigarettes back then, so I would uh, find all the butts in the house and I'd roll another cigarette. And I felt like it was, it was ruling me. I didn't have as much control over my body as I would have liked to have had. Now, it may be an illusion that we have any control over our bodies, but uh, to some degree it feels like we do, and overcoming our addictions is healthy. 
the 12 step program uh, can work for any type of addiction, even food addictions. The thing about food is that we have to continue to eat these foods. But why? I ask myself, why do we eat things that we know aren't good for us? What? Uh, because they taste good, yeah. Uh, because as a child, maybe food was associated with love. So if we don't feel good or... Well, if we feel really sick, we, we're not hungry, but... Um, some people, if they just feel emotionally unhappy, they eat. And I probably have done that in the past, but each fast that I do, I say each juice feast that I do, I feel less compelled to eat compulsively. So, um, what, I, what I'm doing is juice feasting. If you want to know what fasting is, you need to read uh, Dr. Joel Furman's book, Fasting and Eating for Health, because he makes a very clear distinction uh, between fasting and feasting. He really believes that fasting is the best thing that you could do, and you can reverse almost every disease he lists them you know, including heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, colitis, psoriasis, lupus, uterine fibroids, rheumatoid arthritis, hypoglycemia, headache, uh, and on and on. If you want to lose weight, it's, he says this is a fast way to lose weight. <clears throat> He's a, uh, an MD, and uh, he fasts himself, so he knows a lot about fasting. So again, it's called Fasting and Eating for Health. He's written several books. Joel Furman, F-U-H-R-M-A-N. So that's it for this evening. I hope you enjoyed visiting with me as much as I enjoy visiting with you. And I'm looking forward to tomorrow. So in the meantime, keep shining and expect miracles. Because you're all shining stars. God bless. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.